Okay, so it's Friday afternoon. Uh, this will be the first hunt since Sunday morning. I passed a little small basket eight-pointer bow hunting on the farm. So this this afternoon we're hunting a piece of property. It's, it's thousands of acres. There's some really good bucks in here. Um, they've got a really good management program that we have to adhere to here. Can't shoot any bucks under 13 inches. We have to kill a doe before we kill a buck. Things like that. But that's okay. That's how you get a a really nice deer herd established. Some nice bucks. There's a lot of them in here. It's several thousand acres. So that's the kind of property where you don't want to just kill anything. So I'm 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 good for that. Good with that. So anyway, be using the climber. Um, I can't do much filming in here. So hopefully, one of us will kill something good this evening, or to, or this weekend. Uh, I've got I've killed several good bucks over the years. The week of Thanksgiving, it's been a good week for me hunting usually. So. Stay tuned, keep watching, and we'll see what happens. Stand. It's really quiet out here this morning, this afternoon. Had a herd of does in the road right out here in front of me, about 50 yards down the road there, when I got out of the truck. They ran in across the road there. When I got out there, I found there's two big there's oak trees up there with acorns all over the ground so I'm pretty sure that's what they were after so they may be back so keep watching we'll see what happens
Well, I've just killed one. I think he's a broken eight. He's a big deer. So I'm going to get down ahead to him before it's dark. Keep watching. We'll see. Well, it's kind of hard to get him. Folks, here he is. I, didn't, I wasn't able to do a very good job of showing him to you yesterday, yesterday evening, uh, because we're limited as to what we can do in there when it comes to any kind of filming, recording of any kind. So I showed what I could show and uh, doing the best I can with it. This was a huge buck for here. He weighed 180 pounds even. Um, uh, this place where I'm hunting, we, we, we have to record the weight and the size, different things. Uh, we have to cut the jawbone out of them, whatnot. Um, they, send, they send that in, they analyze all the data, which is good. But he doesn't have any teeth to show. Uh, his gums are slick. <laughs> He's got the front teeth, the, the little cutters on the front. And, and that's it. That's all he's got in his head. Not another tooth. So he's a big nine pointer. Um, I don't know how old he is. I know he's old enough. He's lost all his teeth. So uh, he's broken a tine here. It's been broken for quite a while from judging from how dirty it and discolored it is in there. He had a, a drop tine here, a small drop tine that's broken. Uh, I may try to repair those when I taxi him. Um, he's got a... <laughs> for here, I'm telling you, this is huge. He's got a 26 inch neck on him at 4 inches below his, his jaw. 26 inches. Um, and he was uh, over 30 inches at the base of his neck. That's a big deer here. So, anyway, this deer came to the grunt call just like the, the, the first two in the video. Uh, he came in basically in their tracks. He just came in later than they did. I have all beliefs that he heard me when I called just like this, when I first called just like the other two did. They came to me and unfortunately, they were putting on a show there for there at the end. They walked right up to me when they spotted me in the tree. They came right to me, four or five yards from the base of my stand, of my tree, and just kept looking at me and doing the head bob and turning and looking back and just they were mesmerized because there was something there and they didn't know what it was. Uh, and they eventually just wandered on off, and he wandered on in behind them. Uh, so I did the best I could. The Tacticam FTS, it's not the greatest thing in the world for filming, uh, but it, any kind of footage is better than nothing. I, would not, I wouldn't have had any footage of the deer uh, alive and of shooting him if it weren't for it. So I'm glad to have it. It's a good tool, uh, but on something that has any recoil, like a, I'm shooting a 20 gauge slug, and uh, or even on a bow, that little bit of recoil when you fire the shot off throws you way off in, in the viewing frame. And uh, but it is what it is. It, it's still a good tool to have. Uh, this is a great buck for me. Um, really glad to have him, and I'm really grateful to my friend Jonathan for inviting me along and taking me in as a guest. We've hunted, had several hunts out there so far this year. It's the most I've been there in, in years. And I'm glad to be able to go back in there. Um, and I hope that we continue on for years to come hunting in there together. Oh, he killed a nice buck. Moments after I killed this one, 
as you see in the picture uh, in the video. Um, and then he went back in this morning and filled his last buck tag. He killed another nice buck in there. I think it's an eight pointer. I'm not sure. But uh, he killed another nice buck in there this morning. So we're both tagged out on bucks. But that's okay. That's great. That's a good year. Uh, especially when you kill good mature bucks and I've killed two good mature bucks this year and uh, I'm very thankful for that so I appreciate you watching the videos I hope you enjoyed it I did the best I could with what I had to work with on this um, so if you enjoyed the video how, if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on your notifications you'll know when I upload another one uh, and I hope to be bringing some more because I've still got several doe tags and you've got after this weekend six more weeks to hunt so hopefully there'll be some more um, so keep watching because I'm going to keep bringing them to you if I can and uh, there you go <laughs>